Welcome to Vidgard Farmstead. Well, um, Dolly had her babies here on Wednesday, Saturday now, and I just thought I'd do a little update video to show you how her and her babies are doing. Excuse me, Marley. The little baby boy and here's the little baby girl and here's our proud mama Let me zoom out a little there we go no oh, and here's these two little babies just a few days old now they might have gotten a little bit bigger but you can't really tell oh and dolly's always looking for snacks now whenever i come in I'm trying to get a good picture of her, but she's good video of her, but she's not letting me. This is the little baby boy. We haven't named the babies yet, so we're not really sure like if we're gonna be keeping them or what we're doing with them. And we haven't really thought about picking names yet. But we will let them be dam raised here on the farm until they're able to be old enough to get weaned. And so that's our, our plan for these little guys so far. Hello, little baby girl. Hi, Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> if you want some food, go to your mama. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of them nursing. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> They're so cute. Can I see a close-up of your face? Oh! Hi, Mama! Oh. Okay, well, I'll just sit here and visit these little babies and then Mama for a few more minutes, and then I'll go out and show you guys uh, our other pregnant doe, who should be kidding here pretty soon. <laughs> Mama's laid down again. And, uh, oh! Yep! I think the goats, these baby goats want to go outside here soon. In the next few days, they're getting bored. Well, if you guys have any ideas for names for these little guys, again, this, this little white one that you can't see right now, that's the baby girl. Right, right here is the baby boy. So if you guys have any ideas for maybe names that are good for little twins, we haven't picked any names for these guys yet. They're nameless. We gotta get some names for you guys. What do you think? What do you think? You wanna be cinnamon? Yeah. You wanna be cinnamon? You wanna be sugar? Yeah. Those are the only names uh, any of us have come up with so far. Cinnamon and sugar, which are cute, but I'm not sure if those are good yeah. names for the first baby goats born on our farm. And eat this. You want to wear it like a hat. Okay, now I'm going to be going over to check on our other pregnant doe. Her name's Elsa. Oh, you, if you watched the video of Dolly giving birth, you would have seen her in the birthing barn. I don't know how close she is to giving birth, so we took her out. And because she was being a bit mean to Dolly and her babies. I'm going to go over here and see if Elsa is over by the hay or by the barn. Cause she's not out with the other goats, which might, oh, I see her. No, I was just about to say, if she wasn't with the goats, maybe she was off giving birth somewhere. Hi Elsa, what are you doing in there with Wes? Wes, why do you have her trapped in there with you? I'm gonna see if they come out. I don't know why it seemed like Moonshine had blocked her in there. Now she's in there with Wes, which the goats hardly ever go in there. I don't know what she's doing. Seems like Elsa doesn't want to come out. I mean, it's sprinkling a teeny tiny bit, but the other goats are perfectly fine. But for whatever reason, Elsa doesn't want to go out of there. And I wanted to check on her to see if she looks like she's going to give birth today. 
but I can't with her stuck in there. She doesn't want to come out. Marley, stop. Yeah, she doesn't want to come out, and this is a bit weird. Wes isn't usually like this, so. I'm gonna stand back and see if they come out, and I'll do an update of how it's going. Okay, I just got her to come out because I want to check on her and figure out what's going on. Maybe she went in there to get away from the boys, but then she was trapped in there with the boys. I don't know. She looks kind of to me like she's getting pretty close to giving birth. Let's just calm down here for a minute trying to eat this hay. Uh, Elsa's... I don't really want to get a close-up on video, but... Elsa's looking like she is ready to drop some babies, but her belly isn't really caved in on the sides. The few days before Dolly gave birth, her belly was, like, really caved in, and now it still is because she... Hasn't been that long since she gave birth. Elsa's teats have gotten larger. You can't really see them unless she like stands up or something on her front legs or, or on her back legs, I mean. But her udder has been growing lately. <laughs> she does not like to be pet or touched very much. But I think we just need to keep a close eye on this girl because I know that she is probably at least four months pregnant. And the reason I know that is because I have been seeing some movement on her right side where the babies are. I've seen a bit of kicking and you aren't able to see or even feel that until they are at least three and a half to four months pregnant. So I think she is should be at least four months pregnant because she has been showing signs other signs for a while as well so she is at least four months pregnant but i'm thinking that she's probably pretty close to giving birth but we've only had one doe give birth on the farm so far and i wasn't exactly able to tell that she was going to give birth that day i just peeked on peeked in on them in the morning Came back at around 11 o'clock, and she was giving birth to her first baby. So, I don't have a lot of experience, and this is just going to have to be another wait and see, though. Especially since we have no idea about her due date, because we have no idea when she got bred. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'll keep you updated, because it will be pretty exciting when this girl gives birth as well. Just wants to say goodbye. Until next time. See you bye Claire. Bye. Bye Claire.